Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Thank you so much everyone for coming back if you're a faithful subscriber For those that are new to my page, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button for to get notifications when I do post my videos and thank you so much for coming to my page I hope you like it and don't forget to follow my social guys I post motivational stuff almost every morning <laughs> almost every morning especially like Mondays to Friday I'm gonna interlink like a picture of some of the stuff that I post about on my Instagram page so you guys can have some daily motivation and forget to come back on Thursdays and Sundays at 6 30 p.m. because that's when I post my video so today's video is another poetry Thursday and this poem well it's not really a poem um I think it's more spoken words so I initially heard it from Les Brown but his, it is actually originally by Professor Dean Alfang, I think that's how you say his name. And it is called I Refuse to Be a Common Man. And I hope you guys enjoy it. choose not to be a common man it is my right to be uncommon if I can I seek opportunity not security I do not wish to be a kept citizen humbled and dulled by having the state look after me I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build to fail and to succeed I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of utopia I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It is my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, and face the world boldly and say, this I have done. As when I heard this spoken word, mate, like, because I'm such a poetry person anyways, like things like that speak to me. And I was like, dang, wow, this is deep. And I'm one of those people, I analyse things a lot, so I then break the poem down to what exactly is it trying to say. And from, you know, as I do on Poetry Thursdays, I will like recite the poem and then I will elaborate on what I think it means. My sort of understanding that I've gotten from this spoken word was that you have to make a commitment with your life. Like, if you're someone who's trying not to live a life of mediocrity, you're trying to do something great and achieve something great, you have to make that commitment with yourself. Like, this is what I'm going to do. Because, trust me guys, once you're a person who's made up their mind on you're going to do this, life starts moving differently. When I noticed that was like when I finally made the commitment of Master, this is what like transformational speaking is what I'm going to do. I couldn't now entertain certain behaviors, certain habits, because they did not go in plan with my goals, with my dreams. So I couldn't do that anymore. Like I felt guilty just sitting there the whole day watching Netflix because I was like, yo, this is five hours I could have used to work on myself, to work on my through the wrong platform. I could have gained so much knowledge within this, these five hours and little things like that, you don't initially recognize, um, like realize the effects that they have, but it's literally a snowball effect, guys. Those little steps that you start taking towards your dreams will pile up, up, up to something much greater seek opportunities for yourself if you're trying to get into a certain job or you're trying to up your skills in, a, you know, in what you're doing at the moment look for but maybe part if you like for example if you're gonna if you're starting trying to start a restaurant for yourself there's an example and you have no business management skills you don't know how like the whole setup of a restaurant works 
get yourself into a part-time job working in a restaurant if you can ask to get some managerial um, like shadowing work so that you can see the background of what is going on that will make a huge difference because I feel most people they want to do these kind of things with their lives but don't realize like once they get into it and start having experience in it they realize not really that's not really what I'm trying to do so things that like testing the waters and like you know getting your feet wet is absolutely crucial because it will, it, can, it will highlight to you whether you actually want that thing or not. It might just be an interest rather than something that you want to pursue with your life. Like for me, my job working in healthcare at the moment, I've realised that is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like don't get me wrong, I love it. The job is good, I love my colleagues, like it's a really nice place to work. But it's just not what I expected. And not in terms of like it's, it's bad or anything, but it's just not what I would want to do in terms of a future career. So if I hadn't gone into it, I would not have known. I just would have, you know, sat at home and be like, what if, what if, what if? But I'm glad that I've now gotten into it. I've, I've you know, I've got my feet wet. I've now realized that this is not what I want. How would I have known if I hadn't done it? So yeah guys, seek opportunities for yourself, seek ways to better yourself, like even opportunities in terms of networking with people, working with people that are, you know, at a higher level than you, people that, you know, where you, where you want to be, like get in contact with those people, you never know, shoot your shot guys, you never know who's going to respond to you, and you never know what opportunities might come out of you shooting that shot. Another thing that I got from this poem was that do not be afraid to take risks. Like, if you want to go for something, do it. In life, nothing is guaranteed. You can take the risk and it will work well for you. It will, you know, it will become this new big thing. Or you might take the risk and it absolutely flops. Absolutely flops. Everything that could go wrong, goes wrong. But you won't know until you've actually attempted. You won't know until you've actually tried it out. So don't be afraid to take risks, take your risks and take your risks with pride. If it fails, learn from that failure, Take extract whatever lessons you needed to learn from that situation. If it goes really well, extract from the lessons. Maybe it went really well because your product was just really good and it's something that people needed, but there was little things that you missed out, things, steps that you skipped out just because you were new. Like extract those lessons so you can use them moving forward. Don't settle. And this is in terms of like, if if you have a job that you don't like, but the money is good, so you just stay because the money is good, don't do that. Because money is only going to be nice for the time being while you're getting all these little things that you want to get. But in terms of, you know, thinking about the future, you don't want to be in your 40s and looking back and be like, oh, what have I done? Or, you know, I could have done this and I could have done that in that time. Don't become a slave to money okay don't become a slave to money like attempt the things that you want to attempt yeah and don't be deceived by money money comes and goes you can always make more money but you're not gonna get the time back that's where it that's where most people get it wrong you're not gonna get the time back you can always make more money but that time it is not going to come back you trap yourself by staying in a job that you kind of like or you don't like just because the money is good just because it's convenient just because it's easier you know it's more secure like you need to take risks with your life do the things that you want to do this life is not guaranteed guys it really is not uh, in the poem it also says that i will i will never cower before any master and i don't i can't remember when this poem was written but like mas masters are not necessarily in terms of just slaves. Um, masters can be anything. Like your mind could be your master, and in terms of bad, in, in a bad way. Like you, your mind can tell you you are tired when you're not tired, just because you don't have your mind in check. Like your mind will tell you you can't do this and you can't do that just because you don't know how to do it at that moment in time. Um, other masters money 
money is a master as well. Like people get trapped by money. There's such a lure into money and wanting more money that people forget or neglect their dreams just because of money. Like her money is not that deep. It's good to have money. It is necessary to have money, but don't sell your sell your dreams off for just getting a certain amount of money every month. Like it's it's not worth it. It's very silly. It's in the long run, you will regret it. Really, well and truly, you will. If you don't have your mind in check, you look to other people for appraisal. You look to other people for their approval on things. That's why, guys, I always always emphasize the need to get your mind right to get your mind right it is vital literally it is vital to have your mind in the right state okay because this thing here is very important it determines whether whether you're going to succeed in life or you're just going to flow by life and it's it's not great to just exist, you need to be living. And I feel like most people think they're living a life, but they're just existing. And it's kind of sad, but change must come. When you start defining life for yourself and the things that you want to do, not the things that people have told you to do or things that people that have instigated that you might want to do. When, when you start defining life for yourself, life moves differently. You have a different energy about you. You have a different aura that you carry around. And that transmits to other people. I feel like when you walk into a room and you're someone who's confident within yourself, someone who knows their direction and where they're going, people can read that. I feel like people can, they can pick up on your energies because you transmit that into the world. And people can pick up on, on that kind of energy and if they are a person who is also in tune with their selves, you never know what that encounter might bring. Maybe that's your new business partner. Maybe it's someone that's going to help you within your journey. Guys, and this is all that I have for today for Poetry Thursdays. Make sure you come back next week Thursday for another Poetry Thursday. And also tune in on Sundays, guys, for another one of my videos. And thank you so much for the support, guys. This is the first video after my one month on YouTube. So thank you, everyone. Um, you know, I'm gonna put my milestones that I've reached within this month. And I'm just really grateful, like, before I started this year, I, I just didn't think that people would sort of subscribe and listen to whatever I had to say. But I'm really grateful for like for people that have sort of people that have subscribed, people that are jumping in the comments and like telling me things that they would want to see from me and things like that. It helps to set my direction out because at the end of the day, um, as much as like this information is for you guys, it also helps me out. Because I feel most of the time the things I talk about, sometimes I need to hear them for myself. Um, and also it just, it makes it a, all worthwhile for me. Because at the end of the day, what I want to do is, is to help other people. I'm also helping myself. And yeah, thank you so much for the support guys. I'm highly humbled. And yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you, bye guys.